standing ovation for what? All right, good morning everybody and welcome to Empowering Morning Conversations. So today we are on session number 596 and I'm going to invite uh, one of our participants, Mr. Kamal Dupre, to tell you what is the purpose of Empowering Morning Conversations. Over to you, Kamal. Hello, Kamal, are you there? Sorry, I was in mute. Sorry. Okay, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, good morning, all. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the EMC sessions. So, today we are in the EMC session. And the purpose of this uh, EMC is uh, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And we are here, uh, we are human beings, which, are a, which is a possibility seeker. And uh, what we do here is we shift from survival or our default mode to create mode. We create possibility over here. We are a possibility seeker. And we dissipate all the negative, negativity we pick up all the time from the people and circumstances. So um, uh, we, we increase that uh, energy and uh, focus and, and we, uh, being a possibility seeker rather than a complainer. So we always on a create side, you know, uh, we seek the possibility for any kind of difficulty uh, rather than a complainer. And um, we don't see any road roadblocks and we increase focus and energy all right, great. Desire. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And I want any one of you to add to that, you know. So this is what he said, and this is what the slide says, and what's your perspective on it? Any one of you can chime in and share from your point of view, what is the purpose of the EMC? And uh, what are you getting out of it? So very quickly, let's have that. So may I? Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, at EMC, what, one of the biggest realizations that has come to me is we are looking at our own lives with a totally different perspective. We are slightly tweaking our uh, approach to life and living and making it far more lighter, enjoyable, and far more accomplishing. Uh, we tend to overestimate things, overthink things, and through the tools and exercises that we do here, um, it's training my mind to look at life as it is and not flavor it with various views, opinions, judgments, and uh, reactions. So uh, suddenly uh, there is far more time because the mind is much freer and is accepting things as is rather than driving it to certain conclusions and certain judgments and putting it in certain slots. So uh, it's a far more open approach to life, a much healthier approach to life. Thank you, sir. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yes, Reddy Garo. Sir, good Your morning. Turn. I'll just uh, say in one word, uh, I'm learning every day how to live my life by choice. Ah, beautiful. Yes, very well. I would like to share the uh, purpose of EMC with a quick metaphor. It is like a petrol station. When you come with your car, we not only put petrol of what is the energy, all the other stuff. We also clean your mirror, meaning we give you clear perspective so that you can see the beautiful world and we help your journey. And come back when you, your tank is empty again. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes, Major Narayanan. So good morning, sir. The biggest realization is where your attention goes, where your energy goes, and the importance of uh, choices versus decision. <clears throat> what are the choices in life and what are the decisions in life? Wonderful, and wonderful. So the listening, sir. The more okay. we listen, the more we'll, we'll evolve ourselves. These are the three learnings that I got from attending EMC. Sir. Thank you. Okay, very well, very well. All right, ready, Garu, once again. Sir, on a lighter note, uh, in petrol bunk we are paying, here we are getting it free. <laughs> here, here we have a system, as, as, as you pay, wish, um, as you wish to pay. Yeah. 
choice no like when you go to mandir you can put something in the donation box or not choice is yours okay abu bakar go ahead we should give toast masters a chance to toast no go ahead yeah sir uh, the emc is the energy center like tesla car you know if energy uh, electricity finish then it can recharge so i came here to recharge because my energy gone so now i want to recharge full completely today hmm so you got discharged now you're getting recharged okay so what else you can say whatsoever you like kunen how about some whatsoever go ahead please unmute and share with them the purpose of the emc according to you very good morning sir and all uh the purpose of emc uh the answer coming to me of this question at this moment is uh, rediscovering the real self uh, because uh -huh. if i see myself uh, i was lost somewhere in this worldly affairs with the so many energies and all but tmc is helping me to realize or to know who exactly you are and why you are here and uh, what you are going to do and how you are going to do and how you are going to get it so that's what uh, is my take sir and thank you so much to you heartfelt gratitude to you sir ashok ji he is the senior most among us <laughs> senior most age wise Onto age wise only... experience wise accomplishment wise every wise very modest also senior in modesty also my my purpose is i believe that every soul who has taken a human form is a pure one and there is a purpose for every human being born on this earth unfortunately due to the circumstances our atma or the soul gets uh, spoiled or gets viewed by the influence of so many other negative approaches those the purpose of emc is to ensure that we understand we realize we we start knowing our own soul and the purpose in which direction we should go so that we do not get attracted by the negative forces which are more attractive colorful and maybe uh soothing to eye but everything that soothing to eye is not the pur purpose of our soul so we come here to focus our attention every day to ensure to ensure that we are on the proper road and we spend our day very useful to ourselves and our society thank you thank you thank you thank you and now let us ask the newest member of our group mr guru nandan singh to tell us now that he has been here and he has chosen to be here what possibility does he see by being a part of this group so over to you guru nandan please unmute yourself good morning everybody and uh, the possibility which i see here is immense immense in terms of self learning self growth uh, and definitely uh, helping others by my learning uh, adding value to first my life and try, trying to uh, replicate to add value to uh, my uh, known or uh, first circle of influence then start increasing their circle of influence to uh, add value to their lives as well right and uh, the kind of uh, self uh, i'll very clearly say the kind of cognitive and self awareness topics that we have uh, learned here is uh, adding a lot of value it's it's uh, it's instigating us to think it's instigating to us to self uh, introspect and uh, self evaluate ourselves and correct ourselves uh, uh, you know where we think uh, where we actually ignore or where we overlook during our daily course of life so very very important and definitely this is my choice and uh, i'm going to be here every every morning to uh, improve myself for my better version thank you thank you thank you and i can see that you can 
be a big contributor to our purpose also. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Just like everybody else. All right, so great, guys. What is there? One of the most important things you might have realized by now is that being a part of this group, we will help you to unlock your real self. All right? Your real self is not this uh, mind, body, emotion mechanism. I believe you have a sense that you are much more than that. Okay? If we take away this mind, body, emotion machine that uh, you have been being in your life so far, then who are you? That is a question I want you to reflect on. What is your real self anyway? If I say, let us take away whatever you have considered yourself to be. If I take that away, then who are you? Yeah, ready, Karu, just hold on for a second. I want this question to get inside properly. If I take away whatever you all have considered yourself to be, then who are you? So who have you considered yourself to be? Like for example, I was requesting somebody very highly respected by me. I said, why don't you introduce the morning conversations? And the answer I got was, I can't. Even though the person is highly articulate, highly intelligent, the grasp of the topic is so nice and everything. So who does she consider herself to be? Or who does he consider himself to be? That I can't. Yeah, so look at what, do, what is it that you consider yourself to be? So if I take away and I ask you to take away everything that you consider yourself to be, then who are you? So I will ask our uh, resident translator, Dr. Kunen Shahidi Saab to translate this into Hindi. If I ask you to take away whatever you think yourself to be, then who are you? Yes, sir. Agar mein aap se poochhoon कहूं आपसे कहूं कि आप जो अपने आप के बारे में अपने आप को मानते हो वो अगर मैं आपसे ले लूं तो आप कौन हो exactly that is a question beautiful and a wonderful translation sir thank you sir kamal you also want to try another version you can't translate it any other way anyhow. That was a very accurate one. Okay. Now that the question has been clearly understood by everybody. Now, Reddy Garu, please give your answer, whatever you wanted to say. Sir, I'm a wonderful human being who deserves to be accepted as I am. That's all, sir. Okay. Very nice. I like that. All right. So if we take away whatever you have considered yourself to be, if we take away all your definitions of you, see whatever considered you have considered yourself to be is a way in which you have defined yourself. So if we take away all those definitions, then who are you? Shakti? This looks like a clean slate. I can make it. It's a choice. I can be anyone. Uh huh. Yeah, I can create whatever I want, whatever I desire. Yeah, without any consideration. Yes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about that. Why do we need a clean slate to create anything? It will be easy. Achha. Because if already I'm, I'm holding some beliefs and stuff, it's like a Especially for me, I'm so hard to drop that. Uh -huh. So if you drop that, it might make it easier for you to create. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes, Major Saab. We can get away without the baggages, sir. 
the baggage that we've been accumulating for so, for so long without uh -huh. that it will make life much more easier to start afresh uh huh and who needs see listen this is another thought i want you guys to entertain who is the person who needs this distinction of easier or difficult The person who wants easy or difficult and all that, who is that person? The person you have defined yourself to be. Because easy or difficult is coming from where? From the past, no? So if you take away everything that you've considered yourself to be, which is based on your past experiences, and you are a clean slate, then where is the question of looking at anything as easy or difficult? <laughs> You get my point, Major Sir? Very right, sir. Correct. Because easy and difficult comes from our own definition of what we consider. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, for me it is difficult, maybe easy for others. Yeah, as a trainer and a coach, I often tell people, Kerry, what is so difficult? Try it. Na? So they'll say, no, sir, it may be easy for you, but it's not easy for me. Okay, so if we take away whatever you've considered yourself to be, then who are you? Your coming, soul. Guys. Your soul. Okay. So you are what is underneath your feet, is it? Your soul? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. If you use the word soul, does it have a shape or a form? No. Yeah, so it is unlimited, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you for your judgment, Sagarji. <clears throat> so if we take away whatever you considered yourself to be, who are you? We're getting very good answers, but let's look. See, try to give an answer which is your answer, right? Which is coming from your heart and your mind or your awareness, right? Not the intellectual stuff. Yes, come on. I am me. me. So who's me? That is exactly what I'm saying. If I take <coughs> away from you everything that makes you you, what you call as the me. Who is the me that you're talking about? I'm a human body with bones and flesh. You're a human body with bones and flesh. With a mind for processing. Absolutely. And emotions as sensors. <laughs> you know? If, if, sensors emotions, you if, if we get emotions back into it, what we then we would be again what we think we are. How is the my Carol? So mind, body, emotion, machine is what we consider ourselves to be. Exactly. But maybe we are something much more than that. Yes, Kamalji, go ahead. Yes. Uh, so what is coming in from my mind is, or from my heart is that <clears throat> I'm an energy being who is standing somewhere in the crossing or in a chara, you know, and uh, looking for a fresh start, uh, choosing, you know, which direction to go. So. Pure bliss, or uh, like a child, uh, and, and a simple energy, you know, who is just looking for a option where to go now. Okay, like sounds it. very interesting. So I am the pilot sitting in this body and using it as my vehicle. Yes, Sagar Acharya sir. I was uh, just thinking today only. Who am I? And uh, today is really interesting topic. I picked uh, up your thoughts, Sagar. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, you know, who, who is this thought? Who does this belong to? I was always questioning myself. And uh, maybe it's all your thought only. <laughs> yeah, okay, so if so we take away I, whatever you consider yourself to be, then who are you? Uh, so I have some... Uh, uh, already uh, already made answer for myself so maybe i get this answer for somebody else also so 
I think uh, if everything just take if just vanished away from my mind all the thought process, then I am just a human cell or entity, uh, a cell. Okay, fine. Uh, one more thing uh, coming to my mind, sir, is that uh, I'm if if uh, I'm taken away, whatever I think I am, then I, I am a miracle of uh, I'm a miracle existing on. Uh, existing by a creator or supernatural power or a creator who has created a miracle and I'm that miracle. Yeah. If you read the first paragraph of the Guru Granth Sahib, what does it say, Guru Nandanji? It says, Ikyom ka sat naam karta purak I'll translate also, karta purak nirbhav nirvair akal murat Ajuni Sebhang Gur Prasad. So, Jab Aad Sach, Jugad Sach, Habi Sach, Nanak Hosi Bi Sach. So, it says, Ekyum Kar, all the supernatural power, are, it's a one creator uh, of this uh, universe. There are many universes, but we are existing in one of the universe. So, there is one creator. Uh, who is the truth? Ekyumkar. Who is the truth? Satnam. Satnam is Satya. Satcha. Uh, the truth. Know, sorry, truth. Right? The truth. Truth. Karta Purak. Everything which is being done is by, done by that uh, creator. That uh, truth. Uh, who is one for everybody. Karta Purak. Nirbhav. He doesn't have any fear. Nirvair. He doesn't have any uh, uh, enmity or any kind of uh, Thoughts of uh, uh, revenge or nerve or nerve or prejudice or prejudice. Or prejudice. Yes. prejudice is the right word. Yes, nerve. Akal murat. It has it has no structure. It doesn't have any kind of a, a Form. physical physical formation. It is yeah. <clears throat> it is everywhere. Akal murat. Ajuni. Ajuni means he is not into uh, deaths and carnation and uh, birth and death. He is he is out of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Juni. June, we say, is one human body is one June. A dog is another June. So, uh, Juni. Sebhang. Right? Uh, it is uh, present everywhere. Uh, Juni Sebhang. Gur Prasad. Right? That this is uh, something, uh, a blessing of the Almighty. Right? Gur Prasad. Uh, Jap Ad. So, if we just remember that uh, creator, if we remember that creator, Jap Aad Sat Jugad, it is a truth, right? Sat Jugad, and it will be there forever. Sat Jugad, Habi Sach, it is there. Hosi Sach, it will always be there, right? Uh, Habi Sach, Nanok Hosi Bi Sach, so it will always be the truth, right? <laughs> Nobody yeah. can change that truth. Yeah, and in our access, you know, when they told me infinite being. Correct. See, we are a part of the, we are the infinite being. We are a part of that, right? <clears throat> so if we take away all the, you know, definitions that we made about ourselves, I am human, that is a monkey or whatever it is. If we take away all this definition, then who are you? The infinite being. And the infinite being has no judgment and the infinite being has no polarity. The infinite being has no right, wrong, good, bad, nothing. It is everything. See, if you are nothing, because thing has a form and shape, right? We have created, we have made ourselves into a thing. I'm like this, I'm like that. I can do this only, I can do that only. I'm a mota, I'm a patla. I'm too tall, I'm too short. You know? I'm too much turkey, I'm not blah, blah, blah. These are all definitions we have created. So an infinite being is limiting himself with all his definitions. So that's why I asked you, if I take away from you all the definitions that you we have, you know, I wish I could take away all my definitions of myself that I am. Because to live in this world, we have created an entity called the ego or, you know, the definition or I am like this. And I'm spending my whole life 
trying to protect this ego or this identity that I have created to exist on this planet. So instead of being able to cause things and create things, I've got into the drama of survival. That's, that's what we are doing. So survival of what? Survival of who we consider ourselves to be. The moment we started defining ourselves like I am like this and I am like this and I am like this. So we are either trying to defend this person or we are trying to avoid anybody who may likely to be attacking us. Okay. So when I say that we will get out of the uh, default mode and get it into the create mode, what am I actually saying? Default mode is when all your activities are only for the survival of who you consider yourself to be. So survival mode is what? Is always trying to protect whatever you consider yourself to be. What you consider yourself to be is that big word we use called ego. That is the default mode. So I'll say it again so that Kunen Sahib can translate it for us. Right? So what is the default mode? The default mode is the mode in which we are always in a survival mode for, and what are we trying to survive? the identity that we consider ourselves to be. We are just trying to survive that. That is called the default mode. Can you translate that, Kunayan sir? So, yes. yes sir, thank you so much. So, the default mode, uh, wo mode hai, जिसमें हम अपने आप को बचाने जो समझते अपने आप को जो हम समझते हैं अपने आप को जो हम समझते हैं उसको बचाने के लिए बचाने की कोशिश में रहते हैं हाँ उसकी सुरक्षा करने की कोशिश में रहते हैं उसको बचाने की कोशिश में रहते हैं राइट एंड या आई वांटेड टू शेयर माय थॉट ऑन दिस सर्टेनली व्हाई नॉट बिकॉज़ व्हाट इज कमिंग टू मी सर एंड थैंक्स टू एवरीवन एंड आई रियलाइज दैट व्हाट गुरु नंदन सिंह साहब मेंशन इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द एब्सोल्युटली स्क्रिप्चर व्हाट आई रीड yeah exactly in your scripture also first paragraph says exactly the same thing so just uh, in addition to that uh, my awareness about self is that uh, and i believe that uh, had picked from you also that i am basically a consciousness living in this uh, vehicle definitely with all the potential power of being infinite in terms of the energy being but uh, in addition to this i am here in this body with this vehicle in this space for a certain time and for a certain purpose for a certain purpose but i have to go back to the creator and i have to be answerable of all my action all my deeds all my achievements and then i'll be staying there eternally uh, exactly that means when you complete your karmic issues then you don't have to come back to experience this nark anymore that's a different matter right now the inquiry is who is your real self okay we keep on getting yes uh, sorry acharya go ahead uh, thank you sir for letting me speaking so uh, if um, um, if what is the if I, how can i ask you this question 
so what are the limitation that we put on ourselves that uh, makes us so teeny and so small that uh, that uh, we have to feel that we are infinite being what are the uh, what are the reason for this that we are not able to feel that infinite being and what are the limitation we have we put on ourselves the marks we put on ourselves and how to get out of it the answer is very simple no sagar how many times we have mentioned it every day practically two or three times i would say the same thing to yourself and to myself also yes see every time you have defined yourself what is that it's a judgment na uh it's a judgment yes sir every definition is a judgment ki i am like this judgment is not ki bad judgment or good judgment judgment is judgment i am saying you are a great guy that's also a judgment yes yes right if i say you are a lousy guy that's also a judgment yes. so if i am defining myself that is a judgment na right so an infinite being just is is not good it's not bad it is not anything so it can choose to be anything see suppose i have defined myself ki i am only like this can i choose to be anything else no. for a different reality to show up you have to be in a different state of being right which we cannot right so it is the ultimate limitation that's the simple formula is that if you can get out of this right wrong good bad agree disagree and comparison then you are coming closer to be an infinite being at least you can stop doing it for yourself na yes so this is the question sir you know <clears throat> at least uh, i wish i am also doing that uh, no judgment on uh, myself so is it really possible sir like uh, uh, for me you know like there is only me you know like i am here only so, no, so there is, is no it, me uh, there is no you there is no me okay see when we get out you and me the moment it comes in there's the first definition na hmm. so, so to live I... in this practical world yeah. you need the distinction okay Yes, but if you are yes. operating from that there is no you and there is no me i will automatically become more responsible i know that whatever i am doing i am doing it to me okay if i am you and you are me whatever i do i am actually doing it to myself only na then will i not be more uh, uh, responsible in my speech and my actions yes you cannot say na mai to theek hu and the fact of the matter is as an energy being you know that energy everybody is an energy so if i do something it is affecting everybody else and if it's affecting everybody else it's affecting me also and the more and more that i am beginning for many years i am on this journey it's making me more compassionate more accepting right less judgmental kisko judge kar raha hai main who am i judging myself right right see we want to unlock our real self so that we stop living a life of limitation and lack and want want as in nahi hai mere paas that is why i say na that's why you remember we told you in the foundation also when i told you in uh bars class also that listen we don't use the word want we don't use the word need we use the word desire so coming back to so let's do an exercise guru nandan are you at home now or still in the park you know uh, i am in the car sir right now uh, so that i have there is no environmental disturbance around me so i am okay, in the then- car Okay, very good. So, if you are driving, stop driving if you can. No, I am on the car. side. I am already okay. on the side. 
okay <laughs> very good all of you who are walking in the park or whatever you can sit down somewhere under a tree or no don't sit under the tree the crows might come and shit on you so sit somewhere <laughs> all right so we are going to do a little exercise all right we have done it before but we'll do it again it's wonderful to remind ourselves all right so everybody sit comfortably wherever you are close your eyes and take a long deep breath and let go and relax and take another long deep breath and let go and relax take another long deep breath and let go and relax and drop all your barriers and be open and sit keep on sitting comfortably and become aware become aware of yourself inside your body be aware of yourself inhabiting your body at this moment Yeah, just imagine that if you were the air inside a balloon, you have decided to confine yourself to this body, and I want you to start experiencing yourself in each and every crevice of your body. starting with your toes and your feet and your ankles lower legs knees thighs yeah like you are experiencing yourself inside it from the inside start experiencing yourself as a being inside this body and keep on experiencing yourself from there start experiencing yourself as this energy being inside the body now as you are there noticing that you are the one who's confined yourself inside this body allow yourself to expand allow yourself to expand outside your body if you are in the house expand to fill up your room your house if you are in a car expand yourself to fill up the car just go on expanding yourself you're slowly expanding outside the house into the whole colony go on expanding in all directions you are expanding yourself
go on expanding and expanding more and expanding more. and expand more. Go on expanding until you fill up the whole planet Earth and go on expanding. Expand completely into the whole solar system and keep on expanding and expanding and expanding till you fill up the whole galaxy and keep on expanding. until you expand it to the whole universe and be there in that state where you are everything. And hold yourself there, experiencing yourself, your infinite self. You're everything, you're nothing. If you are everything, you are no thing. Just be in the experience of yourself as an infinite being. And slowly now, allow yourself to come back, to contract yourself and come back slowly, back into the confines of your body. Because that is a choice that you have made, to live within the confines of your body. And when you're back, Yeah, so now if you're back, then get some movement in your body. Yeah, rub your hands together. Caress your face. Okay, and whenever you feel like it, you can open your eyes. <clears throat> And quickly before you lose yourself into your intellectual thoughts in your head, please share with us what you experienced. Yes, Sagar. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, for me, like uh, uh, expanding myself to the place where I am living, first I say uh, expand myself to the room. Uh, I was I was expanding myself at that time. And uh, then uh, slowly I expand myself uh, to, uh, you know, there is temple. So Paspatinath also I expand myself. And uh, from that, uh, I expand uh, myself uh, uh, to the city and, uh, and to my country. Then like a planet and I went to <laughs> a solar system and like that. 
and uh, uh, in this expanding what i feel was uh, it was so true that uh, when you say that uh, you are everything and and you are also nothing it is so true that uh, it, it is uh, something i experience also some some time ago and uh, this expanding also there was with me when i was child and uh, i think i was i i find my answer and uh, i find the process not to get identified with my limited self and, uh, it was really like uh, like for me this is like a wonderful experience sir uh, okay it's like a really wonderful experience thank you sir thank you thank you thank you all right so guru nandan yeah so uh, you know in the first instance when um, uh, i was being told to uh, experience myself from the toes uh, so it was like a small cell uh, that went inside the body and uh, was experiencing each and every uh, muscle joint uh, of the body uh, through in, inside every organ and uh, when we uh, when i then uh, as asked my uh, subconscious mind was asked to expand uh, come out of the body and expand uh, to the from the car i am sitting to uh, to the city to the country to the world to the planet to the solar system to the galaxy and universe uh, so that giant within myself uh, could feel uh, that and uh, from a journey of nothing to everything is is that kind of a thought process and eventually uh, sub um, you know eventually reaching to that creator where uh, we could feel that this whole universe has been created by that creator in such a wonderful manner and whatever we think or whatever we see we are very small we are we are nothing and the 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 country the world the planet the universe the galaxy the universe is so huge that we are nothing in front of that <clears throat> okay and how do you feel at the end of it it was a very matlab uh, uh, it was a calm composed kind of a thing within me and i was uh, in the beginning whatever sounds were coming from uh, suddenly surrounding me uh, i couldn't feel them later and it was a very amazing experience uh, of self uh, awareness and awareness of the universe and what we are in this universe a very amazing experience yeah <clears throat> so maybe for the first time experiencing yourself as who you really are correct not what you defined yourself to be absolutely absolutely great thank you for sharing thank you okay anybody else anything that's coming up in your mind right now after doing this exercise i mean the experience of the exercise may be similar or the same for others okay shanti good morning sir and good morning everyone i feel i am more i have i need to be more responsible there there is no need for a negative thought because all the negative thoughts are about others who are who has done something wrong i as i perceive that they are doing something wrong so that's why i have the negative thoughts when i become the infinite being there is no negative there is no possibility for negativity yeah. so i would be only in the creative mood beautiful thank you so much for sharing that yeah guru nandan you want to say something yeah now i realize a lot of energy in me and i can realize the vibrations inside me and energy in me mm. beautiful <clears throat> and neeti what's your experience this time so this just tremendous amount of energy this nothing else that i can express and i the energy is still vibrating inside and it's a totally different feel 
I had a lot of, uh, because of the last two weeks, I had a lot of negative energy within me and I think that is finally leaving and this positive energy is vibrating inside very strong. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. All right. All right, Shakti, then very well. Uh, I felt that there's a still, I'm an infinite being. I don't want to come out of that mode. But I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. You so can remain in that mode. Yes. And continue to do what you're doing. Yes. See the power that you will manifest when you start doing that. Yes, sir. And you'll feel different kind of confidence and everything going on. Yes, All right, Vetri. Uh, amazing, powerful exercise. I cut on strange start uh, while doing, while closing the exercise. Uh, it is like the infinite being with full energy is a little bit struggling to accommodate with this body which I created. Uh, yeah, that sometimes you get this feeling. Now, why should I be inside this prison? Like a jail. All right. Ashok ji. Hello. Yes, sir. Mera experience to, to ulta ho gaya. Aap kya ghoomne gaya thai, mujhe lagta hai. Nahi, nahi, nahi. Mere to ekdom chota ho gaya, like an ant. And there was a lot of greenery and light and everything. Good scent, smell, everything. And I was becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, but but I was enjoying that scene of uh, jisko unlimited. Jisko aap, yeah, yeah. Jisko aap aai ho na, wo chota ho gaya. It, it, no, like an ant. <laughs> not, not even a grain of a, a rice or something, it's even a smaller than that. And the beautiful sky, clean stars, Sun and moon and it was a beautiful scenery outside. Oh, wonderful. Enjoy. Wonderful. wonderful. Kamal? Yes, sir. So, like, I am visualizing, like, a, um, <clears throat> you heard about that king, the Bali, no? who, uh -huh. who, who expand, expand, expand. Uh -huh. Upar jake bilkul, fill the universe and... Uh, and that feeling was coming, no? It was the Aham Brahmasmi. Nah. I am the creator. That's, yeah. so, that's, that's, that's what I wanted you to experience anyway. Ah, bilkul wahi, wahi mode pe tha. And uh, good exercise, like, to start to re restart our life, to refresh ourselves. No? Yeah. So, very, very expensive experience. Sir. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome, you're welcome. So we are coming to the close of today's session. I hope you had a little glimmer of who you really are and you have unlocked your real self. But to keep it alive, that's up to you. You know, you can go back into your defending your identity mode or you can be living in a choice to be in that expansive mode so the choice is yours. All right, so before we close today's session, very well, let's have a little uh, Tirukural from you, then Kamal will give us his shairi, and if uh, is uh, Kuldeep ji there today? I will check. Can somebody check if Kuldeep ji is there, then he will come next. Otherwise? No, sir. Okay, so fine. First very well, then Kamal, and then Kunan. Let us see what Shairi comes out from his heart today. Okay, Thank you very me... much, sir. Uh, today is coming like Uram Murvanku Pulla Berkia Dilla Maram Makla the Lay Vere. Translation is it's so apt, I like it very much. Energy is mental wealth. Those men who are destitute of it are only trees in the form of men. If you want to differentiate yourself from a tree, the energy is a secret. Operate from there. Thank you very much. Kamal Ji. Yes, sir. So, I remember when 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 I
Con el... Con el, you better you translate it. Can you uh, recite again, Kamal Ji? Yes, sir. Tere azad bando ki na ye dunia na wo dunia. Tere azad bando ki na ye dunia na wo dunia. So, for your free soul, spirit. spirit, neither this world or that world. You don't have permission to live here and die there. <laughs> you don't. You find it difficult to live here and you find it difficult to die there. Mm. Ah, like that. All right, great. Thank you. That's a good one, Kamal. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Sir, before I... Uh... Okay, let's uh, let me share my shari today. No, no, no. You say that whatever it was there in your mind, say it. Yeah. Uh, this exercise uh, I had done before also, and uh, what I realized uh, is very important to keep on repeating this exercise, and uh, that's what uh, I do in terms of my five times uh, prayer. Uh, so, otherwise, uh, I go back to the default mode. And uh, because as per the uh, human nature and the, wherever we are stayed, distraction, negative energy, etc. So, I would recommend all to find time during the chores of your day. Uh, wherever <clears throat> you're sitting, doing something, do this. Repetition is important to remain in this being. That's yeah. what my request I think this is the fourth or fifth time we have done this exercise in the Empowering Morning Conversations. I think even Shakti has done it twice on this. Am I right, Shakti? Yes, sir. Uh, she's also done it uh, for you all twice. And I would keep doing it because I think it's a good reminder for us to remember who we really are, you know. And the more often you do it, the more you're going to unlock your real self. So we do not have to it's ridiculous that a powerful human being should live in a powerless state. Enough? All right, over to you, Kunal, your shayari. Thank you, sir. Uh, kiya hai, Kaval ji, dunia ki baat ki aapne to, uh, darya, darya ka sara nasha utarta chala gaya, darya ka sara nasha utarta chala gaya, मुझको डुबोया और मैं उभरता चला गया मुझको डुबोया और मैं उभरता चला गया और अर्ज किया है कि दुनिया समझ में आई मगर आई देर से दुनिया समझ में आई मगर आई देर से कच्चा बहुत था रंग उतरता चला गया वाह वाह वा, ये तो मेरे को अप्लाई करता है बहुत ज्यादा बढ़िया आई समझ मगर देर से अभी भी आ रही है <laughs> Who wants to translate it? It's too good. It has to be translated. Neeti, you better translate it. Sir, so you'll have... You'll have a whole session discussion. Line by line, translate. You say it line by line, so she'll try and do it. Yes, sir. Neeti ji, it's said that Darya ka sara nasha utarta chala gaya. Intoxication. The intoxication of the river started uh, what diminishing. Mushko Duboya or my Uberta Chalaga. It kept drowning me. It kept drowning me. But I kept resurfacing. Yes. Dunya Samaj me I Magar I dare say. I, I started understand understanding the world, but it, it took me a long time to do so. Kacha bahut tharang, magar utarta chala gaya. So the color was what not very fast, and it went on. Yeah, it went on kind of leaving me. I started shedding the color. 
slowly. All right. Deep realizations of life. Yeah. Tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, you have nailed it. Great job. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, see you tomorrow once again. Have a very, 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 very blessed day today. We are in the middle of thank the week. You, and don't forget to keep your attention on what do you wish to accomplish today? All right. Bye then. Take care. Thank you. Bye, thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.